Hi, art nerds. Happy holidays. We have another adorable paper child activity for our paper child advent calendar. Today's paper child is designed to hang in a Christmas stocking, but you can also hang her over, say, a gift bag or even use her as a bookmark. She is super cute and really, really easy to paint and assemble. And the materials you're gonna need for today's tutorial are pretty minimal. You're gonna need popsicle sticks, double-sided tape, foam tape, which you guys can get at Dollar Tree, scissors, single-sided tape, and an X-Acto blade if you know, if you have one and if you're confident with using one. So if you missed part two, the watercolor for this one was actually pretty easy since she's in a nightgown and her nightcap a lot the night before Christmas. And you guys can check out part one of this tutorial by clicking either the card or the link down in the description below. I've been using some of the easier tutorials, not as tutorials, but as Christmas vlogs to talk about my experiences with Christmas and to invite you guys to talk about your experiences with Christmas. So if you're interested in how we celebrate down here in Southeast Louisiana, you ought to check it out. So here are our materials all laid out. A lot of these are things you can get very cheaply at Walmart or Dollar Tree. And of course, the line art printable and the colored printable are linked down in the description below. Both are free. They're my gift to you this holiday season. So our first step is to trim off our excess paper. I'm gonna use a paper trimmer. If you don't have a paper trimmer, that's fine. But as you guys very well know by now, I cannot cut a straight line to save my life. So we wanna hold on to that excess paper that we've trimmed off, not because we're gonna use it in today's tutorial, but it's gonna come in handy in a future Paper Child tutorial. So keep an eye out for those. Remember, there's a new one every day until uh, December 25th or Christmas. So we've got some large scraps of watercolor paper over here. Now, if you are playing along at home, you don't have to print it out on watercolor paper. A heavier paper like cardstock or Bristol paper will work just fine. And I encourage you to color this with whatever you enjoy coloring with. So now I'm gonna use a pair of scissors to just kind of remove more chunks of excess paper. It's gonna make it easier to cut and easier to work with. And as you guys can see, her arms are separate from the rest of her body. This was done on purpose. This is going to allow her to hang with her arms hanging out of the stocking. When I was working with, on these, it was weird sharing them to social media because so many of them had the arms just completely detached. I think it wasn't clear to most people what I had in mind with these illustrations. So now that I've got most of the paper removed, I'm gonna go in with an X-Acto blade and do a little bit of fussy cutting. And then I am going to fussy cut, and that is cutting along the line art, the rest of this. Now, if you're not super comfortable with scissors, it's totally cool to ask someone else for help. In fact, I recommend you do this with adult supervision. If you're not an adult, or if you're an adult like me who's super clumsy, adult supervision is, you know, encouraged. And um, I'm going to fussy cut all the excess paper off from around her, but if you're not super comfortable with scissors, then you can do what's known as a halo cut, where you leave a halo of paper around your paper child. This is gonna make them a little bit more structurally sound, and it's still gonna be really, really cute. Now, while designing them, I kind of had to eyeball whether or not the arms would work. And surprise, surprise, this one's arms didn't quite work. So I measured it up by laying the, uh, the hanging arms, the secondary set of arms on top of the first set of arms, drawing where they actually hit the arms, and then re-inking that and cutting off the excess. So if you're playing along at home, you're gonna wanna do the same thing to kind of reconfigure the arms. 
I really like doing paper children. If I had done the sketch digitally, I probably could have figured that out. But I was doing it straight on the watercolor paper that I inked on. So it makes it a little bit more challenging to figure things out. But that's okay. Solving problems on the fly is a lot of fun. You just have to be flexible and forgiving with yourself when you make mistakes. So the hard part is done and wow, cutting all those tiny scallops was <laughs> really annoying. I could have gone in and gotten really fussy with it and cut out the insides of the scallops and if you guys have a Cricut machine and are using that to cut this out, you can do that. I chose not to as my X-Acto blade is not particularly sharp and it might end up tearing up my paper. So for this paper child, we want to give her a bit of a spine for a little bit of structure. It's not 100% necessary. If you're going to use her as a bookmark, you really don't need it. But I wanted her not to get crinkled or creased by the stocking that she's going to hang in. So I'm using one of the popsicle sticks to give her a little bit of structure on the back. So I'm using a piece of double stick tape. I'm placing it all along the popsicle stick. And then I'm going to press it firmly to my watercolor paper. want her legs to bend too much so I cut another popsicle stick and I'm just using this to extend her spine all the way to where her legs meet her dress. I'm going to use some single sided tape to really secure my popsicle stick to my paper child so it doesn't bend or peel off easily. And then I'm going to flip her over and use our foam tape, which you can get at Dollar Tree. It's very affordable. You can find it in the craft section. And I'm going to use this to create a little ledge for her arms. Now in our Christmas ornament, the tree hugger tutorial, we actually created a little shelf to go over the tree branch, but our stocking isn't that thick. So we can use three layers of our adhesive foam tape to create that ledge. Now this adhesive foam tape, doesn't have the best adhesion so I'm actually going to use some double stick tape in between my layers to make sure they stick on really well.
For this tutorial, you really only need very, very small pieces of foam tape, maybe uh, three millimeters or four millimeters wide. So it's really good to get a really small piece of the foam tape <laughs> and it gets a little bit difficult to handle because it's so sticky, it wants to stick to your fingers. So a pair of tweezers might be helpful since we're dealing with such a small thing. I absolutely have to apologize to you guys here. I don't know how I don't have footage of sticking the arms on. It's really not that complicated though. You're going to lay them on top of the body and then press firmly where you've applied your foam tape. And you guys can see the foam tape in our little 180 twirl view here. Then it's time to place it in our Christmas stocking. I have the reindeer stocking, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. go ahead and place her in the reindeer stocking. And voila, they, it is finished. She looks very, very cute, and this one was a really easy paper child tutorial once you do a little bit of re-engineering to get the arms just right. But she looks so cute just peeping out of the stocking like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys will keep an eye out for another one tomorrow. Bye guys!